Hello everybody, uh, this is Rudra Pradhan here. Uh, welcome to Engineering Econometrics. Uh, today, we will continue with Penalata models. In the last lecture, we have discussed this Penalata model that to understand the concept of you know penal data and the importance of the penal data uh, to to brief about this particular you know setup. So, we have discussed the time series type data, cross sectional type data and then we have a data structure called as you know pool data and penal data by allowing time to vary and cross sectional to vary simultaneously. Uh, because in the time series data only time factor will be allowed to vary while cross sectional is the constant and in the cross sectional type data we allow cross sectional unit to vary while time factor will be remain constant. Uh, as a result, uh, so we may not get you know more and more variations in the samples while addressing some of the engineering problems while linking dependent variable with independent variables. So, now the beauty of the pool data and penal data is that, so we are bringing lots of variation to the samples while addressing the same engineering problems and, uh, uh, and by the way uh, the process will remove some of the bias in the system. So, that is why uh, understanding panel data and use panel data for any kind of you know uh, engineering predictions and engineering forecasting, uh, uh, my opinion is you know it is very you know excellent. So, let us see how is the kind of you know structure about the panel data models. Uh, uh, after knowing the kind of you know uh, data structure about the panel data, uh, we like to move what are the models available through which we can use panel data and that to address some of the engineering problems as per the decision making is concerned. Okay. So, let us see how is this kind of you know uh, models. So, starting with actually some of the models uh, we can call as you know uh, pool data and panel data. So, when some estimation will start with respect to pool data, then it will look like you know uh, either time series or cross sectional only advantage is actually having more sample points. And then in that case simple OLS can be applied that means technically while, uh, while a clubbing actually pool and pen pool and time. So, we have a different data set. So, the same data set you can apply OLS and then study the impact and that particular structure is called as a pool data analysis and OLS can be directly used there without any issue and you know uh, biasness. But uh, when you when we are interested to know the time series impact and cross sectional impact to this pool data then we have to bring actually panel data models. So, technically with respect to pooling time series data and cross sectional data by default we have 4 different models altogether which we would like to highlight here. First one is the pool data model and the second one is the panel data model where we have we, we like to cover uh, 3 things because they are very important uh, and that too they are very common and you know very easy to understand and address the problem more appropriately and more accurately. So, that is the concept of fixed effect model, the second one is the random effect model and the third one is the generalized method of moments. So, let us start with the first OLA structure that to the concept called as you know pool data and the other three are technically called as you know panel data. But if you go to the excel, so the same data structure will be read as a pool data, same data structure can read as a you know panel data, just we have to bring some kind of you know extra specification or extra features to this you know pool data. Then by default the uh, the outlook and the kind of you know uh, 
understanding is completely different and uh, there is a high chance that the, uh, the expected outcome will be also different. So, uh, ultimately at the end of the day we can check the things both you know uh, uh, as a you know structure of pool data and panel data and finally, we have to choose we have to pick up which is having actually a you know good ones and can produce good results. So, we have no issue to use the specification of pool data or panel data, but uh, you know the problem and the kind of you know output by default will give you some kind of you know indications where to go whether to stick with you know pool data or we have to stick with you know panel data that to with fixed effect models, random effect models and the GMM. So, let us start with you know OLS first that to pool data structure. This technique is to be used when the data is just combining cross sectional data with time series data and this data combination is called as you know pool data and it is just treated as you know new set of data without taking any consideration of cross sectional variation and time series variations. That means, cross sectional uh, behavior or cross sectional impact and time series behavior and time series impact that is simply you know that that means, as usual uh, you know uh, think it like you know cross sectional type and time series type, but technically when you are linking y and x we need some you know sample points data points with respect to y and x and then we we, we may be process it. So, need some data points to linking y and x to analyze y and x. Uh, so, we have no moderations whether it is a time series type, cross sectional type and pool type. We need some observation to test that is all that is what the simple understanding about the pool data, but in reality, but in some situation or some scenario, uh, we need to know how is the time series you know impact or you know cross sectional impact within the pool data setup that is little bit in depth kind of you know study and in depth kind of you know requirement. Of course, uh, the the outlook and the kind of you know policy implication uh, for uh, you know using the panel data model will be different altogether, but still uh, uh, we cannot you know just blindly pick up panel data without you know. Uh, understanding pool data and without comparing the pool data. So, we have different kind of you know tests uh, and this test will tell you whether to stick in OLS type of you know in a structure that to pool data structure or whether to st stick to panel data structure and the, the kind of you know panel data models. So, uh, over the times we like to check both the aspect and then finally, you have to fix as per the best and as per the a requirement of some of the engineering problems. So, the second model uh, or that means, in the second basket that the pool data model where we, we like to cover fixed effect, random effect and GMM. So, the first one is the fixed effect. This approach assumes that all individual uh, features as well as the cross sectional specifications are captured in the in intercept only. So, that means, that is the concept which we use called as you know delta i. So, so, for instance, suppose there are you know 5 cross sectional units. So, that means, technically we can create a new dummy variables. So, we can start with you know 0 to 4 repre uh, representing 0 uh, you know uh, 1 is the indication of you know 1 cross sectional unit. 2 is the cross uh, second cross sectional unit, 3 is the third cross sectional, cross -sectional unit and fourth is the fourth cross sectional unit. So, when 1, 2, 3, 4 is not there by default uh, represented as you know uh, fifth cross sectional unit. So, likewise you know you have to classify the data that means, by panel data has a beauty actually uh, means that is one extra advantage is that you know by default you can bring classifications some kind of you know, classification that means, same pool data can be a can can give you you know different levels of you know classification provided you must have you know more and more observations with more cross sectional units and more time series units. So, keeping you know uh, I constant you check you know how many I variation is there. So, uh, you know if you arrange the data in ascending to descending order allowing 
I will be very keeping other things remain constant, then you will find you know different pools of you know result. And same way uh, you can apply to the time series to vary and keeping other things remain constant, again you will find different pool of you know data. So, that means with you know master data sheet you can find some of the sub clusters and that sub clusters can be used further to analyze the same engineering problem. And uh, on the top of that we can go uh, as a individual kind of you know, estimate, uh, you know estimation then you can go for you know pool kind of you know, estimation and then we can go for you know panel kind of you know, estimation. So, that means when you have more cross sectional type of you know data and more time series type of you know data within the x and y. So, we have lots of lots and lots of flexibility to address the engineering problem as per the requirement and then the validations and the effectiveness of the model will be a much uh, you know higher and more effective as per the particular you know requirement. That is why we need to actually uh, uh, you know highlight this issue and give more importance uh, to analyze this problem. So, here so individual cross sectional units need to be uh, need to be uh, targeted and that will be uh, that will be the uh, very uh, you know variable factor through which you can you know uh, linking y and uh, x. So, that means, uh, uh, all together so you have y information and uh, x information and ultimately you have to create a, a dummy variable that to cross sectional type a situation and even if it can be applied to time series also that is called as a, a dummy effect uh, that to dummy with cross sectional effect dummy with a time series effect. For instance, uh, instead of you know delta you can put you know delta t or mu t. So, here uh, corresponding to the particular data uh, uh, you know that to time series. Uh, so, we have to give the signal for instance uh, uh, if a, a, if the variation is actually with respect to two different time periods with a different cross sectional unit. So, you can uh, for the you know previous data set which you have discussed uh, that to with the availability of you know the year 1990 and 1993. So, what you can have actually we can create a dummy and if that particular data is for 90 then you can put simply 0, if not then you can put you know 1. So, putting 0, 1 so that by default will give you, you know different kind of you know, specification. So, so, oh, oh, so the, uh, uh, the new classification will be with respect to 0 and 1. Again so the particular dummy can be again separated uh, where you know uh, d will be 0 and the uh, other d will be simply 1. Okay. So, uh, you know if you have a 0 1 only then uh, uh, m m my summation is that you know you can use only you know one dummy, but if you have actually more kind of you know uh, such dummies uh, starting with you know let us say 0 1 2 3 4 like this you can have a different dummy. So, we can know the individual uh, uh, you know time series impact and individual cross sectional impact. Uh, while addressing the the link between the dependent variable and independent variables. So, likewise, so we have another concept called as you know random effect model and in this approach we assume that all individual features as well as the cross sectional specifications are captured in the residuals instead of you know into mean that means technically. Uh, so, we are act, uh, you know technically we are uh, actually linking y and x okay, and that to uh, allowing intercept and then a copy a coefficient for x and then the error term. So, ultimately uh, so the, the issue is actually with i or t and here with i or t and again with i or t okay, either i or t or i t to uh, simultaneously. So, then now in between if you allow i to you know be a factor or t to be a factor or both i and t to be a factor ultimately uh, uh, that that is actually numerically coded and quantified uh, and uh, uh, you know when you you know put some uh, you know some items 0 uh, and the other item will allow to vary for instance 0 1. So, if it is 0 then uh, you know the impact uh, uh, will go to the intercept and again if it is 1 then the impact will go to the intercept because there is no variable there. So, it is the dummy which classifies the data into two different cluster altogether. So, that means technically so the 
time effect and cross sectional effect either it will come to the intercept side intercept in either it come to the intercept or it will go to the error term. If that particular impact will be studied through intercept that is what the technical called as you know fixed effect models and again that particular impact will go to the error term keeping intercept constant then the, uh, the particular model is called as you know random effect model. So, that means uh, when you, you like to capture the time series impact and cross sectional impact. Uh, there are only two ways which you can actually highlight because ultimately the impact either will go to the intercept or the impact will go to the you know error term. So, if you allow the impact will go to the intercept not to the actual error term then that particular structure is called as you know fixed effect model. So, ultimately in this case the uh, particular alpha value will go up or you know down depending upon the kind of you know. Uh, coefficients value. Okay. So, whether the coefficients are coming minus or plus because ultimately it is a delta i. So, i will vary and corresponding to i then delta is the coefficient actually. This is the coefficient value if the coefficient value is not coming 0 then technically either it will have a minus uh, you know uh, coefficient or it will have a plus coefficient. If it is a plus coefficient then the alpha value will go up and that means intercept uh, you know, have more uh, more weightage and if the coefficient of delta is coming negative then the alpha will be really down. So, that is how the difference you will find. Similarly, the case of you know t. So, if you put in you know, a mu t. So, then ultimately after estimation mu will be the you know differentiating factors. So, either mu equal to 0 which is our you know null hypothesis to be tested if not 0 then either mu coefficient will be positive 1 or negative 1. If it is a positive 1 then again the impact will go up and if it is a negative 1 then the impact will go down that is what, what the kind of you know structure. So, in any case either it will be a you know you know uh, just through uh, uh, you know uh, intercept or it will be just through you know error terms. So, technically so, the issue of you know fixed effect model and the random effect model. The fixed effect model is the uh, impact of you know cross sectional and time series units to the intercept and the impact of cross sectional units to units and the time series units to error term is nothing but called as you know random effect model. So, that is what the uh, dealing um, and uh, uh, in addition to that. So, what we have actually the th uh, third one under the panel data basket is called as you know GMM that is uh, you know little bit more uh, you know uh, complicated and uh, uh, more powerful compared to simple pool data then fixed effect and the random effect. So, usually GMM is a statistical method that combines observed uh, economic and engineering data with the information in population moment conditioning to produce estimate of the unknown parameters of this you know uh, econometric models or any kind of you know, engineering models as per the particular you know estimation process. So, uh, so that means uh, technically uh, this is another form of you know uh, panel data model uh, where we really uh, you know address same engineering problems that to linkage between dependent variable and independent variable. But uh, in a kind of you know different uh, you know flavor or you know different uh, outlook. Uh, in fact, there is a concept called as you know dynamic panel data modeling, where we sometimes you know allow the model to go through you know endogeneity uh, impact. That means uh, you know we can bring actually a uh, lag variables uh, in the in the panel data setup. So, in fact, we use IT. So, now it can go for you know i t minus j. So, that is the kind of you know specification which you can uh, bring and uh, and these are all sometimes required uh, while using panel data uh, and that took uh, the combination of both time series data and you know cross sectional data because some of the cases the endogeneity issue is very stronger uh, while you know linking time series data with you know cross sectional data and uh, uh, the, the particular flavor is different altogether. Uh, 
uh, that means technically you can go for you know simple panel data uh, you know uh, setup or you can go for you know dynamic panel data setup and gmm is a kind of you know concept where you know we can actually bring the dynamic uh, you know concept uh, in the panel data approach uh, which is actually not you know uh, clearly highlighted in the case of you know simple fixed effect models and that kind of you know, random effect model now uh, to understand the kind of an you know, estimation process so the particular you know a model is you know a model is like this uh, where uh, we have the link uh, y equal to a, a x and uh, the specification is it here and the error component also it and uh, if it is actually only i or only t then you know the the particular you know uh, covariance will be simply you know ui uj or ut ut minus uh, j like this uh, and again uh, here since i and t will be together uh, so we have a different kind of you know, specification and first of all uh, the covariance of these two error terms should be equal to 0 that is as per the OLS requirement and as per the discussion uh, you know uh, in, in the earlier you know different models and then covariance of you know, error term with two different time periods keeping i remain constant and uh, in the previous case keeping t remain constant two cross sectional unit variations would be actually not there uh, uh, because of you know some of the a requirement of you know estimation process that to the OLS requirement. Then some of the error terms should be equal to 0 and by default variance of the error terms should be uh, you know uh, uh, you know approaching a uh, unit variance or you know homogeneous variance. The, uh, you know these are all you know whatever we have actually earlier you know highlighted or assumed in the case of you know simple time series molding and the kind of you know cross sectional molding. So, now what is happening here? So, I will vary from 1 to n and t will vary 1 to t. So, we have um, that means the first end requirement of you know panel data is you must have more number of i and more number of t then the game will be very um, game will be very interesting and if a uh, means uh, if i will be more and more and t will be more and more. So, a uh, game will be more and more interesting uh, and then you will find uh, you will find clue to use different kind of you know models to analyze similar kind of you know uh, engineering problems. So, on, on the top of this, so the model can be actually analyzed in a different way see here. Uh, so, this is what the general general models y i t equal to alpha plus beta x i t plus error term and then uh, see how we can actually uh, generalize or you know analyze the case I means uh, we are just expanding the kind of in you know, a situation uh, it's uh, starting with y i t and alpha plus beta x i t and error term so now what will you do here so keeping i remain constant and allow t to vary so t will be vary starting with you know, t equal to 1 t equal to 2 t equal to 3 and so on so when i remain constant and allow O t vary so then first t equal to 1 and in that case the model will be just uh, you know transfer into like this. So, here i will be vary and t actually fixed here so that to equal to 1. Uh, Again in the second models where we are putting t equal to 2 and then i remain constant that is how the model is all about. Similarly, it will continue also up to you know t th time period. So, in the last step so, this is what the model. So, that means every time uh, we we can have a different estimation and different uh, model output uh, keeping you know i remain constant. So, that means let us say a company you know individual company and uh, we have actually a, a time series data for a particular period and again uh, we have time series data for another time period that to 2 and then you can run the model separately. Okay, so, of course, uh, we have the option to pull and again go for in a single uh, estimated output, but in the meantime uh, since we have different uh, years data and different cross sectional data. So, we have uh, you know uh, slight flexibility to do this. So, and uh, for that you should understand uh, clearly how it is happening and what uh, what is the uh, you know uh, procedure through which actually you can bring this kind of you know flexibility to analyze the problem 
more accurately and more appropriately as per the need and the requirements. So, ultimately, uh, ultimately, and so this is how the uh, case and what will it do? Uh, again, if you go uh, further, uh, so here I, 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 you know, I constant and t will vary. So, now what will it do actually in the next iteration? Uh, we allow actually a i to vary and t remain constant. Okay. So, compared to the previous ones where uh, i constant and t vary. So, now here if you put you know i, co I constant let us say i equal to 1 and uh, t will vary. So, then by default the model will be like this and here t will be varying to 1 to t. So, again so when we put i equal to 2 and allow t to vary. So, then the model will be like this. So, that means uh, here what is happening? So, we have a data with respect to different cross sectional units. So, you can run the model for the cross sectional unit 1, then run the model cross sectional unit 2, run the model cross sectional unit 3 like this. In the previous case, so same cross sectional unit, but you can run the model with a different time frame, okay, different time frame. But here what is happening? So, uh, time rem uh, remain constant within a particular time frame, you run the model with different cross sectional setups. that is how the difference okay? and, uh, uh, and that is what the beauty of this you know penalty structure. If you want if your understanding is very clear, so you have lots of you know that means technically you have plenty of you know flexibility how you have to generalize the things and uh, can bring a best output or you know best model through which you can do the better prediction and forecasting as per the particular you know engineering requirement. So, ultimately so this is what the structures then finally, if you uh, if you go ahead like this okay, so then ultimately you, you can understand the entire you know panel data structures. So, uh, uh, understanding panel data and understanding the panel data models two things are uh, different but there is a huge and a huge uh, you know uh, kind of you know chemistry between uh, the panel data and the panel data models. So, uh, so you you know you have a different kind of you know understanding uh, uh, you know on this before you uh, before you link to a particular you know engineering problems and do the prediction as per the uh, decision making uh, you know uh, requirement. Uh, so, uh, for pool data approach, we assume that uh, the intercept and the residuals are you know constant uh, across individual and that to over time. Sometimes this uh, this assumptions uh, you know are not actually realistic one. So that is how panel data come forward and you know uh, uh, you know solve the problems with you know less assumptions and. Uh, a, a, you know uh, more uh, you know in a kind of you know, a solid way to address the same problems with a different kind of you know, setup and you know different kind of you know, structure. Uh, therefore, uh, we can uh, we can you know consider that the model that makes interceptor residuals change over time and across the individuals is nothing but called as you know uh, panel data models. So, if they are constant then that means technical that is called as you know simple pool data structure and uh, where you know uh, the time specification, cross sectional specification and pool specification is not so important because ultimately it is the data set simply used to run the models or estimate the models. So, ultimately end of the day we have different observations only. If you use only time have a less observation, if you have uh, you know run the model with cross sectional again have a less observation and when you pull you have just you know extra observation, but the process is all more or less same actually what we have done either through time series or through cross sectional and then just linking that brings the pool. But on the top of pool if you bring some kind of you know, specification or the kind of you know uh, importance about the time element and cross sectional element then the entire setup will change and the particular you know uh, framework will be also different. Uh, 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 of course, uh, the outcome will be 
more reliable and more solid uh, to address the engineering problem provided uh, the uh, model should give the signal that you know yes this model can be uh, appropriate or this problem can be very appropriate to analyze through panel data models. So, that means, we have a different spe you know specification test through which uh, we can uh, proceed to either you know panel data or you know we can stick to the pool data only and then finally, we can actually analyze the problem as per the particular you know requirement. So, in the next class we will discuss all these test and uh, the kind of you know model estimation procedures with respect to fixed effect models, random effect models and GMA and then we can connect with some of the engineering and industrial problems to highlight uh, the issue of you know panel data models and uh, to address the problem more effectively and more accurately. With this we will stop here. Thank you very much. Have a nice time.